Well, hello and welcome to Create Talks. I have Faith Vu here. Yay! If you love the Philippines like I do, she's Filipino yeah. and she just got married this last year. A couple things that are important about Faith that you need to know and she'll be on my team this year, which I'm so excited mm -hmm. about. And Faith has many different creative outlets and we're going to talk today about really partnering with the Holy Spirit and and also what happens when you have so many different types of desires creatively and how they can work together. So Faith has her degree, her master's in architectural design. She's a, she loves to sing. She's into music as well, a photography. She's also with her husband because uh, Jack has his own photography business. So she's also shooting weddings. She's, she just gets kind of all over the page, everywhere. I love it. And she loves to write. Yeah. Which is another thing which I love about her. So if, if you're like me and Faith, you've got many different things out there. Mm -hmm. Where do you start? What do you begin to pursue? Am I right? <laughs> totally. It's just so crazy. But I know that last week you, you heard from Nancy Boo, and I'm sure that that changed your life. She's just so incredible. Mm -hmm. But Nancy Boo had a photo shoot up here with fashion, mm -hmm. and we asked Faith and Jack to join. Mm -hmm and share about what happened during that time yeah. and then what happened with one of your photographs. So, um, yeah, thank you for having me here, first of all. Yay! Yeah, it's incredible. <laughs> I love talking about creativity. It just makes me really happy. Um, with Nancy Vu's shoot, it, it was such an amazing collaboration because we came in and um, Katie was doing the flowers for the model's hair, and Nancy yeah. Boo was just like with her fashion design with the dresses. Everything was so beautiful. She got um, a horse to come in. Get to that model. horse, come on. <laughs> it was just like a whimsical wonderland. And honestly, it was just a, collab a collaborative effort. We were just there to kind of capture the moment. <laughs> and yeah, and so she asked for the edits and submitted them to Harper's Bazaar, and now it's going to be in September's issue. Come on! So, <laughs> wait a second. You need to understand this. Faith's <laughs> picture is going to be in Harper's Bazaar magazine, which is a huge fashion magazine. Yeah. If you're not aware of that. This is crazy! It just blows me. <laughs> <laughs> God yeah. is so good. So, um... So if you have any questions for Faith too in her journey, please let us know. But this is crazy to me because what you, even in this fashion shoot, number one, you had people doing the floral, people doing hair mm -hmm. and makeup, mm -hmm. uh, people doing the photo shoot, mm -hmm. and then obviously you had the models, etc. So much going on at the same time. Yeah. But creativity created a beautiful moment with everybody that was operating in the kingdom spirit mm -hmm. and now it's going into a secular environment yeah. <laughs> which makes me so happy it's like that's what we're born for is to transform yeah. culture mm -hmm. yay um but i i wanted to like have you share about uh, about your love for creativity and what first inspired you to create in your journey mm -hmm. I think as long as I can remember, my first memories of my childhood was just loving to sing. I just, wow. I just loved it. Not because, and I didn't need anyone to be there for me to sing. Like, it wasn't like a, the love of performing. It was simply like the love of singing. I would be alone in my room. And there's this toy. I don't know if they create it anymore, but it's like this little stereo with this little mic attachment for <laughs> kids. And I was like five or six. And I remember just locking myself up in the room and just singing every day just because I enjoyed wow. it. It just yeah. made me happy. Yeah. Um, and then because my parents are both really creative, they, my dad's an architect and my mom did architecture as well, but she didn't work as an architect eventually. But I just grew up just in a creative environment. And wow. so they always encouraged us to draw, to create art. Um, my favorite show when Come I was on. growing up was Art Attack. Do you know that show? <laughs> I <guess. laughs> I love that show. And I would watch it and then go to the stationery store and just buy all the material and create. Not because I needed to create for anyone else, but I just, I just remember the joy of the process of making something and yeah. seeing something that was in my mind come to life in front of me. Yeah. Um, and I think growing up as a Filipino as well, our 
you know, when you go to the Philippines, we all love to sing and dance oh, and yeah. act. <laughs> oh, yeah. All my Filipinos out there going, yeah, <laughs> Yeah, it's just part of our culture. It totally is. Mm -hmm. It's almost like, it's almost like there's this thing inside of different, I think, um, you know, different people and different people groups that, mm. that causes you to have joy. And you guys mm -hmm. have this, and it's an amazing gift that causes you to create and to love celebration. There's something about the Filipino people, celebration is huge, and that's, I, I love celebration myself, so. <laughs> yeah. And I love their mango shakes. If you've yes. never had a Filipino mango shake, you haven't lived yet. <laughs> Trust me on that. And she knows exactly yeah, what I'm talking I miss, about. I miss the mangoes in the Philippines. <laughs> I try getting mangoes here. just does not no, compare No, it's at just all. not the same. No. Not the same. But it's crazy because it's like you enjoying it. I was yeah. just with my granddaughter, uh, and she's about three, and we were creating. Mm -hmm. And she was lost. Like, I looked at her, and oh, my gosh, she was so intensely painting. And it was like she found her happy thought, her yeah. happy moment. <laughs> And I feel like that's what happened to you. Yeah. And uh, others, remember that first time that you created that happy moment where you go, oh, I'm painting, I'm singing, I'm mm -hmm. dancing, and you just feel alive. And that's because the Father created you, mm -hmm. and He wants you to feel that way. Yeah. So <clears throat> take a moment. It's not about performance. Mm -hmm. It's not about trying to get earn your way, but it's about enjoying mm -hmm. His presence. That that's where the best creativity is found. Yeah. Uh, I love this. This is incredible. Um, mm -hmm. So how have you integrated your walk with God with your creativity? Share mm -hmm. about that journey and mm -hmm. what what kind of launched you into seeing, oh my gosh, there's something I can do with the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. that's even deeper than yeah. just my own creative gift. Yeah, so like I said, I grew up just loving to create and just out of my own pleasure but growing up you start to realize there are other people that are more creative than you let's just laugh at that let's just laugh at that <laughs> everybody out there if you're here. not laughing you need to laugh right now <laughs> <laughs> or you know it's not good enough or you didn't get that a in art class and you know all of those things and slowly shame just came in and i started to really doubt my own creativity and instead of just enjoying my creative process, I started partnering with performance and needing to create for other people's approval. Wow. And I wasn't happy with my own work unless someone said that it was good. Um, and yeah, that was just, that was just, let's just laugh at that a lot. Yeah, come on. <laughs> and you know, the crazy thing, Faith, about this journey is like, here you, here you, you had such a passion yeah. and such an enjoyment. And what did the enemy do? He wanted you to compare, and he wanted teachers to compare and teach you that. Yeah. Oh, wait a second! I'm not as good as Sue, Sue or whoever. Mm -hmm. And then that began to take away your joy. Yeah. And creating, and actually, like, okay, well, that's probably the last thing you wanted to do. Mm -hmm. Because you, who wants to feel inferior? Like, mm -hmm. I don't. <laughs> yeah. Or feel ashamed. Yeah. And so that's huge. And right now, I just want to just speak to people watching. If that has happened to you, if there's a memory mm. that that keeps coming back to you, oh, I can never ever do art again because of what this teacher said, or I can never dance, or mm. I mean, I talk about that in Create 28. I want you to know right now that if you have a desire for it, it came from Jesus. Yeah. And He wants you to enjoy it, just like Faith said. Just get in your room and start to do your passion, do your yeah. love, and don't let anyone stop you. Because there's something that God wants you to discover about you and about Him as Creator. Mm. It's the presence in creativity that brings transformation in what we create. Mm. And so we just want to bless you with that. And yeah. if you have any questions about that or you want more prayer, let us know too. Because mm. we're here for that. Uh, but another question I have. How have you integrated your... Uh, no, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, as far as coaching, and mm. I know that you really want to get involved in the coaching thing, how can coaching help creatives mm. to get started? So share about yeah. that. So because of that process of believing all of these lies about my creativity, when I found out about coaching, it really, it helps me coach myself and mm -hmm. also coach myself with the Lord, asking questions and really digging deep into 
um, lies I'm believing, hindrances in my mindset that's like, you know, putting all these doubts inside of my mind and my heart and um, closing myself off to really taking ownership of my creative voice. And so I do that a lot when I start to feel like my heart's burdened. I coach myself and I ask myself powerful questions. Um, and it's been a, a process of just like personal growth for me um, and really just declaring the truth over my life that I am creative and I don't need to perform for love. So I can just break away shame, break off shame. And coaching is really about um, taking where you're at right now mm -hmm. and propelling you forward. Absolutely. It's all about forward movement. Um, and coaching, like Jack coaches me as well. We both love coaching, so it helps when your husband's your coach. <laughs> um, and he's positive. <laughs> he's positive. That really helps. Right? And encouraging. Oh, and come he's on. like my greatest cheerleader. Um, but coaching also gives you a structure and support for when you start to doubt yourself, someone that will really encourage you and remind you of the vision and the motivators that you initially um, talked about in the beginning of like a coaching session or yeah. um, in your coaching relationship. So yeah. as a creative, I think if you want to have um, break away all of these hindrances that's yeah. really stopping you from laying hold of your potential, having a coach walk alongside you which is just going to bring your creativity to the next level and um, help you really not just for yourself, but help you really use your creativity to bless others as well. That's right. Because that really is what it's about too. That's so it totally is. I love what mm -hmm. you shared. I, I think right now, like if if I was going to be letting you understand Faith's journey and my journey, it's like we didn't just become creative in our fields of interest, but we had people that coached us along and that mm -hmm. encouraged us in the giftings and the call that we had. I mean, I remember when I was overseeing our school of ministry in second year and developed the whole coaching model there in about 2008. And somebody was coaching me and said, well, Teresa, you're very busy. Can you do both overseeing second year and, and leading this arts movement? Can you do both well? And I go, I feel like I'm getting burned out. He go, mm -hmm. and then they said to me, well, this is a great coaching. They said, well, what would you regret not doing in five to 10 years? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and those are the great coaching questions. Yeah. <laughs> and I said, well, you know, we have some people coming into our second year program that could, that could be raised up. I've already done a lot of stuff there, I think. But no one's really being a champion of creativity in the Holy Spirit and mm -hmm. in what can happen in, in creativity for churches, etc. And so I had to make that decision because of a great coach yeah. that helped me to see my life because sometimes you're so close, mm -hmm. you can't see the direction of where you're headed 10 miles down the road. And yeah. coaching, that's what helps you. I mean, it's interesting mm -hmm. because we're just launching our coaching program, mm -hmm. which I'm so excited about. So, you know, check on Create Academy about that too. But that's the power of what we're talking about. It's mm -hmm. like, you don't have to do it alone. You don't yeah. have to go out there and say, well, I think I'm supposed to do this, but then I keep hearing these voices. No, yeah. a coach helps you to process your life. So yeah, it's huge. Yeah, it's something. It's when I found out about coaching and how it's helped me, not just in my creativity, but become becoming like a wholehearted person. It's it's so powerful that I decided to to pursue that as my career, yeah. um, and I'm in this yeah. journey. So I'm just like. It's so it's so important. Yeah. I think everyone needs a coach in one way or another. Yeah, and it's great because like in our Create Academy, we're we're launching people like Faith to to really help give you feedback in the different mm -hmm. classes. But I mean, she will become a coach, mm -hmm. and that's her heart's desire is to help people mm -hmm. as she's been helped help others, which yeah. I think is just phenomenal. It's amazing mm -hmm. because we couldn't do life without that. So. Yeah. So anyway, um, another, oh, Jack just joined. Hey, Jack. <laughs> Yay, we're so glad you're here. Jack is amazing. Yeah. Love you. And people joined from Alabama. Gail, thank you. Oh, Simone from Switzerland. Love you so much. Uh, she's amazing. So there's so many out there. We just thank you for joining. Mm -hmm. um, I have another question. Yeah. How can creativity transform culture and why is it so important to God that we find out about our creative nature? Why is that important? 
Yeah, like we all know that God is creator. And so because he is creator, we have this creative DNA inside of us. That makes every human being a creator, a creator in one way or, you know, or another. Yeah. Um, and so I think as believers, when we are reconciled with our spirits, reconciled with Holy Spirit. Yeah. It's just a recipe for so much beauty and so much yeah. hope. Yeah. Um, I feel like if we tap into our creative genius with the Lord and create out of love and out of hope, um, we get to shift atmospheres of even with the car fire. You know, totally. there's, there's so much devastation and creativity can come in and in love um, change something that was meant for evil into something that's good. Absolutely. It's, it's amazing. I have to tell you a quick testimony and please thank you for praying for us. Yeah. We actually saw blue sky this morning. Yeah. So it was like we were just so happy. And clouds. Everybody in Reading is going, there is a blue sky. <laughs> but it, it's just like we were just with our artist last night, and one of our artists had lost her home. Mm. And everything was taken. And as you're going through where the, the house was, there was only one thing they could find, and it was a, a, a one, one page of her grandmother's Bible. Whoa. And on it was Psalm 89, all about the fact that he would never leave. That's and incredible. you just are sitting there and you're going, God doesn't do anything without bringing a restorative thing into in the line. So what the enemy meant for evil, yeah. God's turning it around for good. Mm -hmm. It was so powerful. Well, I'll, I'll share that on my Facebook, just what, what she, um, that one page that she found. But but if you have any prophetic words or mm -hmm. if you feel like anything you'd like to add, mm -hmm. go ahead. Yeah, I feel like um, the Lord was telling me this a few days ago. He was shouting over me, you have permission. And I feel like Woo! that's a word for some of you. Like, stop trying to wait until someone else says that your creativity is good enough. Come um, on. You have permission. You have permission to explore, to create, to have fun. Um, and I just break off any shame and performance attached to your creativity. And I just speak to your mind to just come into alignment with the truth that you are creative and you get to play with the Father who is your creator. Yeah. Um, you get to just enjoy um, having fun with Him and exploring what that looks like with Him. So yeah, I just speak over you. You have permission. The Lord is already giving you permission. What more do you need? Such yeah. a good word, Faith. Yeah. It's like, so right now, I want you just to repeat after me. Say, mm -hmm. I have permission. I have permission. To be creative. To be creative. And enjoy how he created me to be. And enjoy how he created me to be. Don't you just feel better? <laughs> I do. Don't you feel like, oh, I could do all different kinds of stuff. This yeah. is incredible. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to have, If I want you just to go ahead and receive, because this is mm -hmm. a breakthrough for all of us on, yeah. okay, have we allowed fear or anxiety to, to, actually stop us from doing what we love and I'm gonna have faith impart that and mm -hmm. just bless you so uh, go yeah. ahead faith yeah so father God I just pray that you would just awaken creative hearts right now I pray God that people's hearts would just come alive yeah. with all of the gifts that you have in store for them that they would have this newfound joy in their creative journey I pray that you give them vision and dreams of what tapping into their creative potential would look like, not just for themselves, but for the world around them. And I just bless them, God, to see the, themselves the way that you see them and to see the world with so much beauty um, and to see the world just waiting for their voice to be released. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Wow. So I just want you to know, like, Faith's journey mm -hmm. is so beautiful because she allowed God to help her in the process of, of breaking off the things that stopped her from, yeah. from like fearing being creative. And now through coaches, through Jack, through the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. think about the thing and, and check out Harper's Bazaar, the, yeah, the September issue. issue. Yeah. <laughs> and we'll post it for you. So you'll see the actual uh, photograph that was chosen, which I'm mm -hmm. so excited about. <laughs> and remember you're born to create and we'll see you next week.